pass this video along to anyone you know who works in foster care, was in foster care, is in foster care. I have a lot to fucking say. I have a lot to share. Oh, this you crazy mother. Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning back into The DK Show. One of the biggest reasons I started this channel actually was to talk about the very topic that I'm going to be talking about <laughs> right now. And I guess that is uh, foster care. I'm, I don't really know how to dive into it, so I'm just gonna dive into it and let you guys know a little bit about me. I'm the second oldest of five kids and we grew up in foster care. We were um, in foster care for over a decade. No one got adopted by someone, you know, that didn't happen. Nobody wants to adopt five kids. I don't know, I feel like people might hear about it, you know, like, you know, separating siblings, but until you actually go through it, losing your parents and then the possibilities of losing your siblings, you know, those are things that we had to deal with because we went from home to home to home to home to home to generally state like, oh, it was really awful, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it sucked. You know, that doesn't give you at all an idea of the foster care system in America. The foster care system in America is broken, it is flawed, it needs major reform. Like if you have to ad adopt a kid, like there's a strenuous process you go through. You know, people try to adopt for years. You have to be qualified, you have to go through all this training and you know, stuff like that. And it's like for foster care, like they don't give a fuck who does it, honestly. The qualification to be a foster parent in America apparently seems to be if you have a spare bedroom. If you have a spare bed, not even the fucking bedroom. Cause somebody else is going to be in that bedroom. You think they're going to give you your own bedroom? That's just not going to happen. There were a lot of times we didn't have our own bed. My father, my biological father, sperm donor, whatever, he's still alive. Can you imagine having five kids and you ain't talked to not a one of them? And you'll never talk to me, so don't worry about it, boo. Keep it moving. He wasn't dumped into foster care. You know what I'm saying? To like, and it is, it is to dump your kid into foster care. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. There's no other way around it. Don't fucking sit back there and be thinking, oh, my kid's doing better because I couldn't do better for them. Then you just failed. You just failed in life. I swear to God, you failed in life. Hate yourself because you're hated. Yeah, I'm sorry. Like I, there's no forgiveness for me for not being able to take care of your kid. If you know you can't take care of the kid, give it away for adoption at an early age. Don't be a shitty ass parent to them. Give them a shitty life and they'd be like, you know what, I can't do this. And then dump them into foster care. Who does that? That's like something you do to animals. You can't just drop shit off. When I came to the realization that we treat our cats better than my brothers and sisters and I were treated in foster care, it's, it disgusts me. I feel like those people, I don't know, something's wrong with bad foster parents, bad parents in general, deadbeat dads, deadbeat moms. Shame on you, you should hate yourself because there's no love for you um, over here. Yeah, no one, you know, no one loves you. <laughs> no one loves you. <laughs> and the shit that they, you know, are allowed to do and say to these kids, and not, it's not even just the foster parents, I know one, good social worker, if you will. And I don't, I don't even know if that's her official title. She's got like a PhD, she's a good friend. She, she's not just a social worker. I can't tell you one social worker that worked with me that made any type of impact in my life in a positive way and whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you hate your job so much as a social worker, then don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not a social worker. I'm not a social worker. I grew up in the hood. So shut the fuck up, okay? If you're gonna choose that as a job, then do it. You know what? I really feel like they try to break you those people in there that um, take advantage of the power, the social workers. I had cops talking to me sideways. I'm like, I'm a fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? If I was a little white kid, you'd be patting me on the head, talking about something. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, they didn't ask us not a once what you want to be when, when we grew up, when they would come to the house talking about something, there was a disturbance. Can you tell us what happened over there? Did you see this? Did you see that? I'm like, damn, can you give me some fucking respect? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, the point is, um, I'm really inspired at this time in my life to give you guys the sincerity that you deserve. For me, in foster care, I was like, yeah, you can, you know, you can tell me what to do, you can do all this, but you can't get up in here. And they fucking knew that shit. They fucking hated me, you know what I'm saying? Because I was in the hood looking around like, what the fuck is this shit? Can y'all upgrade? Like, oh, why I gotta... <laughs> why, you know, why, why open the cupboard ain't nothing but sugar cookies, bitch? Can I get a goddamn food pyramid? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's awful out there. It's awful out there. People really suck as parents. You know what I'm saying? Like, ugh. 
you have hundreds of thousands of kids in foster care. It's not millions. You can't do nothing for these kids. If you're in foster care, special shout out to you, all the Fosties, hashtag Fosties, don't take my fucking, that's trademark, bitch. Yeah, I'm serious. Hashtag Fosties, hashtag the DK show, and you can do it on Twitter or hit me up in the comments below. Leave me your stories. Let me know what you went through. What did you see? You know what I'm saying? And what do you, how do you feel we can improve this system? That's what I want to do but it's gonna start with honesty. They get away with this shit because everyone keeps their mouth shut. Why? It's not normal to treat people the way that a lot of these foster parents are treating these kids. That's not normal to talk down to people and shit. Let me tell you something. I worked as a nanny for 10 years, okay? Seven in the New York City tri-state area, okay? You can't talk to them kids that way. Are you kidding me? They'll be on a cell phone. Like what? You're done. I'm sharing the story because I want to uh, reach out to someone out there. Actually, I want to reach out. I want to reach out to a lot of people out there. I want to reach out to people who grew up in foster care. If you're in foster care right now, we want to hear your voice. We want to hear your stories. This is important to us. And I, when I say us, I mean me and my siblings and also Ken. Oh, of course, one other thing. One other thing that I definitely want to mention, if you are in foster care right now and you are being abused in any way, mentally, physically, emotionally, <laughs> it's time to let somebody know, okay? It's time to rat on these people. Child abusers are losers. So call the police on them, tell your social worker, tell a teacher, tell somebody that you trust. Cause guess what? They gonna get in trouble for that shit. You can't do that shit. You can't touch people inappropriately. You can't talk to someone and try to put them down to nothing. You can't do that. So if, if someone is doing something to you and you're like, nah, this shit is abuse. You know, you know what's right and you know what's wrong. You have a voice, use it. Because you deserve to feel just as happy as all the kids I've nannied over the past decade, okay? Mm -mm -mm. All right, I'm, I'm rambling, this is done. This video's over. Share, me your, share your stories with me. All right, sweetie poo. Now I gotta go take care of my cats. Y'all niggas don't even take care of y'all kids. Uh, <laughs> All right, gotta stop doing the cut, baby. Ciao, love you, bye.